clean up operations, calm restored and communal love displayed. This in stark contrast to the violence that broke out after two men accused of killing Mosweu were granted bail. After a drawn out court battle, Peter Durvalt and Philip Skutter were found guilty of the murder of Mosweu. This ruling was later overturned by the Supreme Court of Appeal in Bloemfontein, who ruled that the state's single witness who testified that the two men threw Mosweu from the back of the Yabaki was not convincing. During this time, a peace forum was established to address the rift in the community, and it has seemingly paid dividends. We started with uh, an uplifting program, but before that, the, the first need was reconciliation, peacemaking, uh, understand each other, the community, people, um, and build bridges and listen to each other. Right now, things are going well. We are related with the white people. It's not like before, where it was a mixed understanding, right? But the Mosweu family feels differently. I don't like white people. How can I like them when they killed my son? I don't think there will ever be reconciliation because they still continue hating us. I want to see them behind bars, but they were acquitted. I get hurt when I see them around here. I cannot forget my child. Although much has been done to bring the community together, for some, the wounds inflicted during this incident will take much longer to heal. Geadi Milomalusi, SABC News, Kolini.